We have previously drawn out this object in uh, isometric and multi-view in previous videos. And right now we're going to concentrate on actually um, dimensioning this. So if you uh, just need to see what the object looks like dimension, stop the video right now so you can actually check it all out. If you need to see how to do it, continue watching. So we're going to get started with a uh, drawing with no dimensions right here. Now remember, just as a general rule of thumb, you want to try to uh, keep your dimensions inside the object. Try never to dimension outside. It should be cut down or pretty much completely eliminated if you can. So I always like to start with a point of origin right here. So right here, um, let me erase some of my original construction lines just so I have sort of a clean slate to begin with. <laughs> I need to start from the bottom, bring this out like so, out like so. You want to make sure your dimension lines do not touch your object lines. And knock out a small triangle right there. And it is 1.00. Each square is a quarter of an inch, so four of them is one. Now I'll just bring this down and that's our first dimension right there. Now next moving up, this is three blocks so it's 0.75. So right here bring this across arrow, arrow 0.75 and then straight down like so. Now on this one we have a radius that we have to contend with. So I am going to come off right there, give a little bit of a flat, and then this is our 1.00. So that tells us that this radius is about one inch. Okay, now next we have to contend with our lengths that we'll do in our top view right here. So I will draw a line like so. Uh, middle line, remember don't have your dimension lines touch your object line. Just like so. Okay, now I need to make an overall length and then a length from there to there. So I will put in my arrows and this is 4.00 and I will connect the lines just like so and this we need our arrows is 2.00 and I will connect them right there. Now the next we have to contend with the front view and its dimensions. Uh, this object is two inches wide, so I will make a couple lines in here. Have my arrows, 2.00. And then lastly, a height measurement. So I will go right here, right there, give myself an arrow, an arrow, it is 2.50. connect them like so. Okay, we have every feature dimension. None of our features are over-dimensioned, um, and all of our measurements fall inside. So this is exactly how it's supposed to look like when you're done. If you need to uh, work on the concept, stop this video, rewind, and as, uh, replay it as many times as you need in order to understand it.